all right guys so on this uh video here i have a turbo hydromatic 400 and this is on a uh, vehicle that's uh jumps uh, sand dunes and it's, it's actually a, a jeep commander uh, or the old gladiator uh, is behind a cummins diesel and as you can see here uh, how much power that thing has that it actually broke the pressure plate on on the direct drum causing a reverse uh, issue uh, there's nothing wrong with running uh, 4L80 frictions on this uh, 400 transmission. I mean, this is a perfectly fine. So you got the 4L80 high energy frictions. Uh, that's uh, intermediate. Now this is a, a five clutch drum, which is a good drum, but it's a, a, a roller type uh, sprag, uh, one way clutch on it. And this needs to be upgraded to a uh, sprag type. And then the sprag should be updated from the regular uh, elements to a 36 element sprag to make it heavy duty. Now, uh, hold that thought right quick. So from a previous build, I have uh, this uh, Red Eagle frictions. They're thin frictions. They're high performance frictions left over. I have two frictions and one, one steel. Uh, the other unit that I just did uh, a couple weeks ago he had a straight cut uh, planets that that transmission is, is what it comes behind like a motorhome and he has a straight cut planets on it he has a six uh, friction drum which with this you get seven frictions in there on the uh, direct and you can get uh, six frictions on the forward drum so that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do with this one we're gonna upgrade this to that and as you can see I mean it's just a uh, a regular 400 transmission but this one has a uh, transgo uh, manual kit so it's not automatic as you can see the governor the governor's locked and in here somewhere it doesn't have a modulator either so it has a plug for where the modulator should go and it blocks the modulator valve as well so this has a manual setup I'm gonna share some pictures of the vehicle with you guys uh and this right here there's a part number here and it depends on what you're going to run it uh, for uh it comes this is a, a complete kit this was already on here you know but you can actually purchase this kit to make a make a 400 or four, uh, four wheel drive and this adapter so it depends on what transfer kit you're going uh going to use like this one is a 51-6400 uh, and uh, I think the 50 6400 you can put a Dana transfer case on it. Uh, I didn't really check what transfer case this adapter goes for, but it's an aluminum transfer case as well. Uh, I'm not going to show that on this video, but I mean, I, I just wanted to show you what upgrades we can do to this transmission uh, other than just the bushings, the overhaul kit, and it's been built before, you know, uh, but I'm not sure how when, when it goes airborne. I think that's what's going on with this right here when it goes airborne uh, the wheels you know they free spin and when it lands uh, you have a lot of shock on the gear train and being in direct drum I mean I've seen on the 4L ladies the drums pop from here and this one actually just broke the the pressure plate now I've said 4L ladies because they have an issue with Highline pressure, but this is a 400. But it's actually the same concept. A 4L80 is a 400 with an overdrive section. That's that's all it is. So, uh, but yeah, Turbo Hydromatic 400. I'm gonna show you the pictures after this little uh, short little clip. Uh, gonna make this heavier heavier duty than it is, and it does have a uh, Allison type uh, torque converter because it's a diesel. You need low stall for something like this and uh i mean it's got a little bit of mud on it not really mud but he actually jumps uh sand dunes with this thing i mean this is a pretty fun little vehicle i'll show you some images of it and i guess this week is a uh, uh, archaeology week or something but here next door right here on this other bench i got a c6 and yeah let's talk about the c6 as well i mean as you can see here he had a broken pump washer and somebody built this thing or um, I don't know if it was a home mechanic or whatever he has a broken pump washer but look at this right here 
I mean, why would you do something like this? You put brand new frictions, and then you use a, a steel that's no good. And look what happens when you do that. It wears out. All this roughness right here, it wears out the friction uh, lining on the, on the frictions. I mean, if you're gonna build a unit, just go ahead and put steels on the thing, you know? Look at the forward drum over here. Same thing. These steels are no good. I mean, you can actually run your finger through it. And uh, it's, it's no good. They put new frictions, but no steels. These are the direct. The direct, I mean, they look all right in decent shape. Like this uh, friction, they're crystallized a little bit, but you can run your buffer and just uh, get rid of the crystallization, which is fine. That's no big deal. But the problem is the pump washer, the gear train was slapping back and forth, and it causes it caused this to fail. And actually, the sun shell right here is worn out. It goes up and down, as you can see that. I guess if I go the other way around, you can see the sun gear go up and down. And that's what was causing the sun shell to wobble. And this bearing, the capture bearing is good. You can actually upgrade this uh, sun shell with the front plan. And from an E4OD, you have a deeper first gear. I mean, but that's for another video, another story. But it's a C6. So archaeology week, I guess. A C6. And a 400. The video is concentrated on this 400. But anyways... Another Tales from the Bench video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a shot of the vehicle. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's, let's walk around it. So here it is. It's all fiberglass. It's a nice built. It's some huge tires. Two batteries in the back. Big shocks. Roll cage. Got uh, two shifters there for the transfer case and the automatic shifter for the transmission. It's kind of dark right now. It's early in the morning. Got a big turbo right there. Cummins. Cummins diesel. Pretty neat little car. Home guard. Awesome, awesome little build right here. I mean, they used to be called Commanders or Comanches or something like that back back in the day. And I do have another one with the AW4. That's an automatic AW4, and this is a Commander. All right, guys, enjoy the video.